Uh, the sun. How do legions feel? So, um, legions with are actually with their hands. Quite... I'm sorry. I I couldn't help it. I just how do legions feel with their hands? Hello everyone, Happy New Year, and welcome back to our weekly Imperator stream for the new year of 2021. Joining me today is Joachim. Everyone say hi to Joachim. Hello, I'm still Joachim. I'm still one of the content designers on uh, Paradox Stockholm. And for those of you that may not know me, I am Troy, our friendly neighborhood community manager, uh, here to stream Imperator Rome with you. Uh, for those of you that are keeping up with news and everything, we have started the DDs back up. Those are going on a weekly basis again, so if you uh, want the latest information uh, regarding all the brand new content that we're working on for the future, definitely check out our DDs. Uh, in the meantime, we... Uh, we kind of realized that we were in a corner at the end of the year last year with the uh, the old boss Baron kingdom. We achieved our main goal of getting all the way around the Black Sea. Black Sea? Black Sea? Yes? Yeah, Black Sea. Huh. The sea that is black. Just making sure. And then realized it's that black. we had we had gotten into a corner and there wasn't a lot of place to go without throwing ourselves into the teeth of the waiting lions around us. So today we're going to be starting over. We're going to be starting in Syracuse, right, Joachim? Yes, we're, um, I mean, I'm going to be honest and say that I looked at the map from the last time and I, um, you know, I would sort of forgotten that was a thing. And then I didn't really feel like continuing that because honestly speaking, I think we're just sort of, well, go, going to be wrecked by the Antigonids and that's... Yeah, I mean, was... that's probably, like, a fun thing to watch in one way, right? Just, like, you know, like, painful glee and... Right. Right. Um, that is one of the four main, you know, paths in <laughs> Imperator is to be wrecked by the Antigonids. What are our... What, why, why here? Why did we start here? So, Syracuse is quite interesting, right? It's sort of... If you look to, like, the major Greek cities and powers... The two most known ones are Athens mm -hmm. and Sparta because right. of their the things they did during uh, the Peloponnesian War. Right. So there are several other players as well that is less well known, but were still very, very important. And ironically, I'd say that Syracuse is probably just as important as Sparta and Athens were, though they, you know, they're in Sicily, they're not in right. Greece, so they didn't right. take part in these, you know, these squabbles and struggles in right. the same way, but Syracuse is known for fighting Carthage for, I think it's like a solid 150 years or <laughs> yeah, so. it was or... a long time. Um, and they actually were like one of the biggest Greek cities out there, and you know, there were a lot of Greeks in Sicily and in you know, uh, the Greek parts of southern Italy, right? Um, where Syracuse was sort of like the major um, leading power in many ways and we have some special content for them and i honestly speaking i found syracuse to be fun to play before but i haven't played it since like 1.3 or so right so i figured you know uh let's give it a shot and see how it turns out i know that joe uh better known as chop mist uh the other content designer on uh one of the other content designers one of yes the team um made these missions for them and I'm going to be honest and say that I think Joe's mission usually are better than my, than my own. Uh, it's, you know, it's one of those things that you always sort of you look at other people and like, oh, right. that guy's really good, right? Um, and I actually think a lot of the things he does is are quite fun and interesting. So I, I've i sort of tested these missions, but I haven't actually played with the missions, right? When you right. test them, you just sort of, you check that they functionally work. You don't actually sit down and do a whole playthrough because that's going to take forever. Right. So exactly. you just be like... You sort of use the console and you sort of cheat your way through the mission and just be like, hey, if I hold these areas, does it work? Yes, it does. Okay, I go to the next mission. Right, and then right. you sort of just push through it. And then, you know, you don't actually play the game in the same way that you would in a normal playthrough. So this is sort of like... Well, now um, you must suffer like a surf and play through your own game. I mean, like I said, <laughs> it's sort of what I've been doing the last weeks anyways, right? So it's fine. Um, so... Uh, we start with two potential missions that we can do. We can either do Death to Tyrants, or right. we can do the Leadership of the Siceliots. 
Hmm. Uh, I'm going to be honest and say that Death to Tyrants doesn't really fit me. I, you know, the way I play, I have a tendency to be a little bit tyrannical, so I figure that we can probably go for mission number two instead, which is sort of like, you know, leadership sounds more right. appealing to me in many ways. So right. you, you guys heard it here first, you'll come as a tyrant. <laughs> Just putting that out there for anybody that needs I to I think hear. anyone who has um, seen me active on the forums already know this. Yeah, especially Nurgle. <laughs> Nurgle knows well how, how much of a tyrant you are. So. <laughs> hey! If he doesn't click the email, what do you want me to do? I'm just sitting here and waiting for him. <laughs> How hard can it be, right? It's just it's just an email. Just click the button. Oh, man, I don't even actually know if he can hear us today, but I really hope he can. There's a, Like I said, there's a meeting going on, so everyone's all quiet. A quiet time in the, in the studio today. <laughs> everybody, everybody, get out your sneepy mats. Take a nap in the I've studio. I've not been at the studio for like... Nine months now, I think. It's a shame. It's a shame. It's really weird. I'm still in Norway, and now I can't actually get back to Sweden because they closed the borders. Well, we'll miss you. Now you're Norwegian again. No claim on Sweden. I mean, I am in theory a Swedish <laughs> resident, though. I am actually, like, officially living in Sweden. I'm just right. not in Sweden, I which mean, is yeah. a little bit weird, but, you know. Well, it's like, technically, I'm still a, a United States citizen, technically. But here we are in but you Sweden. Fled. Yeah, here we are in Sweden. I guess I don't know. Uh, nobody, nobody tell my accountant. It's a little bit weird. All right, so we're starting as a tyrant today. You know, normal things. Right, normal so things. So it seems like soldiers of fortune. It's a mercenary thing. Probably handy if you want to grab some mercenaries. Um. I have a tendency to often run out of manpower and having to rely on mercenaries, so, yep. you know. Um, oh, and... actually, and actually it's a new year, so it's it's time for my, 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 my stream famous catchphrase. Are you ready? Is it something about staying hydrated? Yo, Kim, did you drink your water? <laughs> yes, I actually drank quite a lot just before we started. I figure Good. I should be, you know... Well prepared and stuff. Good. You knew I was going to ask, so why, you know, why delay the inevitable? Uh, let's see. Is this 2.0? No, it's very much not 2.0. This is uh, this is still 1.5. The good old days. Um, I'm actually really excited days. for streaming 2.0 at some point. Are you? Are you excited for streaming 2.0? You okay? Are you... I am excited about streaming 2.0. I think it's. You sound over thrilled right now. I don't. I can't handle it. I'm gonna need you to calm down on the stream here. Well, like I said, I've been playing it the last couple <laughs> of weeks, right? And it's actually there's some of the changes we made that I didn't expect to be as fun hmm. as they ended up being. I I didn't really expect the um, the invention system to be that fun, but it's actually like really really cool. Um. And who knows, maybe we will someday soon be able to show it to you guys on stream, hopefully. Knock on wood, no promises, but that's what I'm hoping. <clears throat> so we'll see how so, that goes. So, what we want, according to the missions, is to be at war. Yes. Which is probably going to happen. Yes. We need some nobles and some freemen, which is Check. probably going to happen, just, yeah. you know, Easy. by playing the game. Uh, and we can click this button right now. Done. I don't really know what it does, but I mean... It says we might get feudatories, and I do like my subjects. Yeah. So, yeah. I um, mean, we gained Sicilian ambition for 240 months, siege ability plus 10, war score cost minus 10. Hmm. Okay. So I'm mad about that. Not not mad about that. It seems handy. Uh, let's see. The loyalties of the Sicilian cities vacillate, vacillate, mm -hmm. vacillate, vacillate. Uh, like the wind, though nominally subservient to a rule, many remain haughty and capricious. With our changing fortunes, we can no longer tolerate their illusions. They must submit to the common cause of all the zealots before our enemies take advantage. Hmm. Uh, yep. yes. Let's go for it. Um, let's see. So, I was the one who sort of asked for these pictures, right? Because uh, our artist sort of popped over to me when we were making 1.4, and he's like, hey, these DLC pictures, what should they look like? Yeah. And when I like this one, right? I was like, just have like you know, um, the two deities out in you know in a field, and I didn't really expect it to end up good. 
Um, Joachim, which one are you? And which one am I? I mean, so this is no, like, you know, knock on your age or anything, but this one certainly looks younger, right? Youthful. Also, the curly hair <laughs> that you guys definitely never get to see because it's under the hat. I think, um, you've yeah, seen, no, I think you've seen me without my hat, Joachim. I have. Yeah. I, it's Shut burned up. into my mind. Yes, I know. It's hideous. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not that bad. I need a flower crown now. Who's going to make me a flower crown? I mean, what do we have Nurgle for, right? Yeah, Nurgle, where's my flower crown? What is? I mean, what is Nurgle really doing anyways? He's just sitting there. He might as well do something. I mean, you could um, origami one out of out of post-it <laughs> notes, I guess. That that could work. <laughs> That's a thing we could do. <laughs> uh, how do legions feel? So, um, legions with are actually with their hands. Quite... I'm sorry. I I couldn't help it. I just how do legions feel with their hands? I mean, I got the pun. It's that's not the problem. It's just. <laughs> I had forgotten all about what these streams are like. Um, but no, the the legions are actually quite cool. I like them because they're the... You don't start with them when you play most nations, right? You sort of mm -hmm. have to unlock them. So... Um, they feel very differently from how levies feel. Right. Levies are like, you know, you sort of have them and you have a lot of them, but they're a little bit weaker and you don't really control what they're like. And you, you know, you don't really control... Um, who's in charge of them? Right. Because I, I've usually played like republics, and they change rulers quite often, and then you change, you know, whoever is in charge of the main uh, region that you hold. So it's right. like, hey, you had a great ruler, cool, and then suddenly there's, uh, you know, an election, and you get like a Marshal One dude, and he's just in yeah, charge terrible. of your army just, now, just garbage and, and you're just like, yeah, and you're just sort of, sort of sitting there, and you're like, wait. Where did my, you know, Marshall Twelve dude go? Why I, why don't I have anything anymore? I mean, so that's politics. Like... That's that's exactly. Poli it's, so... Nothing's changed throughout the years, you know. So uh, levies are like, you don't really have as much control over them, and then you sort of unlock legions, yeah. and you're like, okay, now I have my like my cool dudes, and I can sort of optimize them the way I want them, and I can add some engineers to them, and they can start making roads everywhere, and it's like, it's actually quite, um, it's actually quite neat. Would you say that the uh, the changes that the engineers make pave the roads for the others? Yeah, I really would say that. Mm -hmm. Good. That's uh, <laughs> exactly what I would say. Uh, so yeah, no, it's actually quite fun. I um, I wish they were a tad stronger than they are. You I know, think that's like my um, you should talk one to the gripe. team about that. Yeah, I really should. I, I don't think they're going to listen, though. I know they won't listen they're to me, not. so... You know. Let's see... Akragas... And... Uh, it's these guys, right? Yes. Uh, Time Lipperog, to make friends. That place. They're... Time to Why make some friends. We... Hmm... What are we doing here? Um... Well, we're seeing Game of Yeah... We are... I also do really like the Syracuse flag. It's wonderful. So it's actually based on like uh, Siceliot or Syracusan coins, I believe, yep. where they actually had these like yep. symbols, and they still, um, they still um, use these of today, right? I think they still use some they imagery like this. Echo the imagery big. and embrace the historic culture of their past. So we we can sort of drop into the native, but we might get feudatories out of it. Um, you know what? Who needs money anyways, right? What's the worst can happen? Yeah, if you guys are thinking about checking out the game, now is kind of the time, honestly. Because if you get in and you check out 1.5 and it's to your liking, 2.0 is going to be way better. And so it's going to just embolden and bolster your feelings. If you try it out and you don't like it, then I've got good news. 2.0 is going to be a bigger and better version, so it may change your minds. So we actually got three feudatories out of this. That is not yes. what I expected. 
Let's see, who yes. did we get and who did we not get? We did not get these guys, but everyone else, so we can sort of grab this area and then just attack Carthage, I guess. <laughs> mm, delicious. Right out the gates. Hi, Carthage, how are you? Um, there was a time when Dionysus, king of Sy uh, Syracuse, led an army to Illyria in order to reinstall the deposed Epirot right. king Alcatos and sack the temples of Delphi. We should not let our ambitions wither, and the uh, disputed island of Corcura off the Epirot coast would make a fine base for expanding interest in the east. Uh, the island will be ours. I don't think you have a choice, bro. Here's a fun fact I've actually been to this Ooh. island. Ooh. It's a really nice place. I would actually recommend going there if people haven't. It's a super nice island. But not right now. Right, Joachim? Because of health reasons? Nobody should be traveling right now, right? Yes. I, I know we can't talk about a lot of it, but is there a, a specific feature that we've discussed previously that is your biggest point of excitement for 2.0, or is your favorite part of 2.0 still a secret? So... Last time we were here, uh, 2.0 was considerably less playable than it is now. Now it is like a really like smooth experience, um, mm -hmm. from what I've at least experienced. And um... now I actually had a chance to play it a lot, so right. I have more like a first-hand experience um, of what 2.0 is like. And I'm going to say, by far, like, the biggest thing is, of course, the UI rework. Right, of course. Uh, it's, like, no doubt about it. It's just, like, straight up, the UI rework is, like, the biggest change. Uh, but the second biggest change, and I didn't really expect this at all, is the invention system. The invention right. system is, like, a massive game changer. Because now you have to actually sort of look at all of the inventions, and you have to be like, okay, what sort of keystone inventions do I want? You have to sort of start planning out your path through mm. the mm -hmm. new invention trees, right? You're sort of like, okay, do I want these buildings? Then I have to sort of take these things. Do I have? Do I want like maximum research efficiency? Okay, I'll have to look at this thing and that thing and start, you know, sort of working my way down there. So you have to sort of start planning out. Okay, what do I prioritize when I play my nation? Yeah. So it's like, hey, do I need all of this discipline right now? Am I going to fight a lot right now? Right. Or, or can you does wait? It even matter, right? Yeah. Can I just sort of polarize these people anyway so I don't really need it so I can focus on building up my nation with like trade or uh, buildings or something like that and then you'll have other cases right and you're like hey I'm a Dadakai so I'm yeah. going to be fighting Antigonids right away I'm going to need everything I have um, just to fight these guys right. so I'm going to focus on the you know the military stuff right away just to sort of uh, you know if if there's a 50-50 it's better to sort of increase that odds to a 55-45, right? right? Or 60-40. Yeah. Just like anything really helps, right? So then you'll go for that edge. Right. So it's actually really interesting to see just um, what choices you make then. Right. It's like, I didn't really expect it at all when I started looking at, um, you know, all of the things we planned for 2.0. Uh, because the invention system isn't something that was... Oh, how did I put this? Entirely planned from above. It was actually something yep. that one of the coders did in his spare time originally, and then it sort of spun into this own feature. Which so, is exciting. Yeah, it's actually really, really cool, right? Yeah. Um, you know, putting that love and energy from what you do on your personal time to yeah. extend into your professional life, really. You he, know. Yeah, no, he sort of looked at the mission system and it's like, okay, I can grab some of these elements and I can actually sort of remake the invention system and it actually turned into this massive feature and it turned into the best feature that I think we have like new feature yep. uh, in 2.0 and it's actually really exciting. I think it's actually really, really cool how it ended up. So it's probably the thing I like the most about 2.0 and the thing that our... I really miss now. Let's see if our luck holds in 2021. We're at 49%. Think we're getting it? I don't think so. I don't think so. I, don't I mean, I don't think it's happening at forty-nine. It's not. <laughs> no. no, it's not. No, seven fifty-seven percent. No, definitely not happening. Oh, ha ha! Our luck Get is wrecked. our it luck is happen. better in twenty twenty-one than it was in twenty twenty. Man, what was it? What was that one battle that we were up to seventy-two in every battle that we had, and it was just like, well, here we are again. 
Within so I'm going to. The thing is, right? You say that our luck is better, but I, like I said, I have played a lot of Imperator um, the last weeks, and I had a run as uh, Massilia. These right. guys up here, right? And I had an army of 8k, and I met tribal troops of 3k, and they had one fort. I had five. They seized down my five forts before I took that one, and I've never been so angry. And I, it's like one of the first times I actually just like quit the game. I was like, okay, this, you know what? I don't really have to play anymore right now. It wasn't meant to be. This event is actually funny, so I'm going to read it out loud. A Do senior it. citizen by the name of Antander approached our Basilius in private this morning. In a hushed voice, he spoke of a vision of the near future, in which he was found by his loved ones having been killed under mysterious circumstances. With shaking hands, he offered all his worldly goods to the state in return for our protection. Are we going to have, have him killed? Him killed <laughs> Just <laughs> instantly. Um, wait, yeah. So, hmm. Convince him. That, what, what are our options? What, what do we get if we if we say anything else? Ninety-seven so get, and ten loyalty. Okay. Okay. Or we get some stability. stability. Or we kill him for three hundred gold. I mean, no offense here, but sorry, dude. You're right. You're going to die under some mysterious I mean, circumstances. Okay. Okay. Let's stop. Let's stop here, and let's like analyze it. Why did you choose the path that you, you started? Remember, we were supposed to be a tyrant when we started off, and one of these gives us six tyranny. If yes. we're going the way of the tyrant, why not go the tyranny route? Oh, we did go the tyranny route. That's right. That's what I'm saying. Gold and tyranny? It's, um... Yeah, no, I think... Look, I mean, he's old, right? He's... He's like 63 years old. It was foretold in a vision that he's going to die under mysterious circumstances. I think that we're sort of just living up to fate, right? Who, who are we to deny fate? Exactly. So. And money. I like money. And 291 gold at this point is <coughs> rather nice, as a matter of fact. I need to hydrate. My little throat's getting dry. So... Fired for embezzlement, hmm. and he's really angry about it. He Let's put really... him into a new position then. Yeah, man, that guy was real mad. Oh, well, this is awkward. <laughs> Carthage is willing to give us iron, but you're going to attack Carthage, so we can't really trade with them. Uh, yeah. I guess we'll find someone else then. I just yeah, no, I started the war. Yes, uh, we are now at war, everyone. Welcome. So I think we're just going. It's to not going to go well for anyone, home. but us. Hey. But it's us. potentially going to go well for us. There's also a decent chance that we're just going to get wrecked. Yeah. To be fair. Yeah. But we got a 12k we'll army. Happens. It's not terrible. Let's see. Soldier of Fortune and military mind. Recruitment has progressed well, and contracts have been secured with many contingents of Lucanian and Br Brutian mercenaries. Interestingly, a crystal mercenary veteran named Aulus has come forward offering his services to Syracuse directly, claiming he can restructure the outdated flags in these fast-changing times. Um... Hmm. Hmm. I kind of like the let us see what idea he has. Yeah, it's it's you know it's not really that costly. No, it's, it's not. Only like Especially gold. since we just murdered a man for two hundred and seventy six gold. Yeah, so it's not <laughs> we don't really have like heavy infantry, right? But even just having like the lighter infantry offense is going to be somewhat handy. Yeah, and we might grab heavy infantry. So um, yeah. Um. Oh, seven k. Yep. Here we go. Come on, allies. 8k. Please do your job, allies. I mean, there's a lot of them, right? So it's there probably are. going to be fine. I think it's going to work out. Just You know, every time you say that, it makes me nervous. Because every time you say that, it usually goes pear-shaped real fast. Oh, you're right, I Fox. Mean... I'm sorry. We didn't murder him. Fate murdered him. We were just in an advantageous position. If you ask me, it seemed very mysterious, though. It was very mysterious. The mystery of a dagger. Um, okay, they're up to 11k. Oh, they split, though. Oh, yes. Yes, please. 
I love it. Ah, uh, uh, yeah, so, you love to see it. I think we're just going to join into this fight while we're sort of at it. Since I see that, oh, I thought it was going in there. Oh, well. So then I guess we're going to fight them there. We have a fight. Uh, where are, what was that passing? I go past them, bitch. loop around. <laughs> it was like a loop to loop, right? It is like a, a take a scenic it's, tour. Yeah, it's a scenic tour. It's <laughs> like, hey, are you going to, you know, stress over there to grab them and, you know, beat them while they're weak? We're like, yeah, but, you know, after the tour, we're sort of, you know. There's there's a, there's an olive tasting. We've got to go taste some olives. We'll be right back. I promise. <laughs> hey, what can I say? Uh, you know. Ooh, wait. There's so wine too. Yeah, we gotta go somewhere else too. We'll be. I promise. Five minutes. <laughs> we'll be right there. <laughs> Selling us, you know, is nice this uh, time of year. Yeah. It's July, right? It's. Yeah. Probably not wet and nightmares at all. No, not at all. There's definitely not a rainstorm oh, active wow. right in the area. We are super lucky. We just wiped both their armies. Yeah, yeah, we did. We chased them into a corner. So, yeah, no. This is actually looking real good. He says as we immediately get erased from the map. So, even if they were to sort of, you know drum up a huge army, we can still sort of buy mercenaries to make up for it, right? Yep. The Talking of huge army, 900 yeah. people. Whoa, whoa, <laughs> 900. And the best part, they're actually starving, so they're, uh, you know... Sailing around uh, on boats, starving, watching us eat olives and wine on a tour of Selenus. This has probably never happened in history, right? No, never. Not at all, not <laughs> once. It's sort of nice having, like, allies that just sort of, like, they do the oh, job, you just sort of, you know, just sort of casually sieging and they're sort of wiping up the armies. Dude, it, it's about time. The past three games we've had, our allies were just kind of not doing their jobs. What do they have? So they're sort of just sitting here. 14, they're, sort of... they have about 15k. That's kind of worrisome. Yeah, but they don't have any morale. Yeah. Yet. yet. So if you can sort of rush them while they're, uh, you know, more or less... We can probably crush them. Yeah, like that. All right, guys. I'm actually going to get Nurgle on stream, and, you know, the, the coming weeks to do a captcha to see if he's human. <laughs> <laughs> just just sparks out the ears. Oh, no. We broke Nurgle. No, Nurgle is way too invaluable. We need to, uh, <laughs> we need to keep Nurgle alive. There we go. With a normal pro Wow. Hey, I think you might have captured some guys there. Okay. I uh, I fixed the problem. How many did you just get? How many prisoners did we just capture? That was nuts. Not enough, sadly. Eight? Was that eight? I saw at least eight. Uh, where's the character one? There it is. And imprisoned. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve in my prison currently. So I think it was like... Eight, nine issue. Uh, yeah, I think it was, I, I counted at least eight. That was nuts. Nine, ten. There we go. More. Thanks. Guys. So, uh, yeah, no. Yeah, come We've... on in. Come on up to the house. The door's open. You know, yeah, it looks like a prison cell. Just walk right in and make yourself at home, though. <laughs> so, it seems like Carthage is sort of skeptical about giving me what I want. So, I guess we'll just keep going then. Yeah. The problem is, yeah. I don't really have boats, right? So, I can't actually sort of take the fight to Carthage. You can go kill those 7,000 dudes, though. That is definitely something I can do. That's easily With done. my 26,000 dudes. Yeah, it's easily done. They're like, aha, we are capturing back this... Oh, 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 look at the time. I I forgot I have a roast on. I gotta... No. Oh. Do I want stability? Do you want I stability? I do want stability. Okay. I decided that I want stability. Oh, yes, we... Thank you, chat, for noticing we are matching in our red shirts. We sent out a memo, Yokim and I, to match on stream today. You know yeah, no, else? I mean, uh, I have a shocking amount of red shirts, actually. Someone once told me, hey, you look sort of good in red shirts, and it just, you know, immediately is like, hey, I'm only buying red shirts from now on. Yokim, would you say that it's coming from a deep-seated emotional vulnerable spot where you feel that you're expendable? No, I think it's just like 
I care so little about clothes. Mm, so people go like, hey, red shorts fit you. You're fair. like, okay, yeah. I guess that's like a plus one on red shorts. And then when you go, go to the store, it's like, there's like, I guess I'm yeah, doing red you, shirts. Now. You review your numbers and you're like, <laughs> you're like, there was exactly one vote and it was for red shirts. So I guess we're doing red shirts. <laughs> struggling so much. Um, so the thing is, right, I'm sort of getting annoyed Why by not winning this war. Well, just kill them already. What are you waiting for? The thing is, right, I'm here. They are not here. So. I'm considering grabbing some boats and boat myself over there. Boatman. Uh, I'm terrified of actually getting into any naval engagements, though, because I'm immediately going to lose and promptly lose my whole army. Right. Um, so, so what you're saying is you might do it, but it doesn't quite float your boat? Yes, that is exactly what I'm saying. Okay. Uh, what I'm also saying is that I'm terrified of not managing to ninja my way through this. Because there's a decent chance I'm just going to lose my army. Uh, so... I mean, it's not like they have 40-plus yeah. navy around you or anything. So they would release a couple of dudes and give me most of the area that I want. Uh... How do you feel about my suggestions, though? I think I'm going to do that instead. Then I'll do it like this. Yeah, just claim it all and be like, we can go to peace, and I cannot come over to the mainland and wreck shop. Why can't I just... This is very confusing. And like this, there you go. So that's 81 out of 92, so we can do that. The question is, can we sort of do anything else? Probably not. Well, no. here's the question. Yes. No, never mind. I was going to say. I'm never minding it then. Good. Um, Go for it. Liberate. Do it. No, it seems it. like we can't really get anything else. Do it. So I think we're just going to... Ask for a claim on the on their, their side of the uh, the water and be like... This the problem is, is we're somewhere. never going to get to the other side of the water, right? Unless we ask them to give us an island or a peninsula. Yeah, oh, but then I have one. To, yeah, but then I have to siege something down, so I'll have to get there first. Mm -hmm. Then it's That's embarrassing. Sort of the it's embarrassing. It's sort of the difficult part of it, right? If I can get like, if I could get like one territory over here, that would sort of solve everything. But I think I'm just going to grab the island, and then I'm going to be like, "Hey, Carthage, you can be Carthage." And well, I if can we went be... further down on the continent there, like further south from Carthage, and grabbed one of those, maybe. Uh, they're actually under Carthage, so if I attack any of them, oh, okay. Carthage is going to be brought into the yep, wars. Yep, yep, so. yep, yep, yep. I didn't know who their closest, loyalties were with. If the closest would be Cyrenaica, but that's sort of so, yeah. you know, so far away. That is a that is a, a death march to get up there. Yeah, it's literally a death march. It's like this is just desert. Um, and yes, Trinex, <laughs> I know there's no CK3 merch. It's not my not my problem right now. I, I have I have I have asked and begged and pleaded and community only goes so far. It has to be approved in other budgets than mine. But we're working on it. We're working on ideas and talking about it, but that's for later. Why is there only two Punic? Is this not updated? Does it... Nope. There it goes. So there's no room for those priests. What we want now is how much do we need for to unite Sicily? Syracuse owns Akragas. So we actually have to yeah. own it directly because they are our uh, feudatories. So Boo. Boo. if we could integrate them, we can't do that until four. Oh, this year. Yeah, it's like three months. It's fine. <laughs> two months. I guess uh, it's going Wait to Wait two out. months. Just wait two months. And this is... Yeah, we're working on that one. I, I believe? Uh, weren't we? Let's see. So you say owns at least three territories which produce grain and have a farming settlement. I thought we had... Uh, let's see. Grain. Grain. Oh, this is vegetables. Veg this vegetables. Is vegetables. It's not grain. Ve vegetables. Um, so we're going to just... You should unpause for like ten seconds.
Uh, okay. Okay, now go. Stop. And now now we can unite. See? Ta-da! Oh, uh, we can't. They no! Didn't like us. <laughs> no! No! So, Dang uh, it. He... So Z. angry. Why do you not love us already? Oh my god. Even Jima is here. What's oh, happening? Is Jima is here. Oh, and yes, my, my beard is actually quite, quite soft today. I put in a new coconut oil conditioner. So, here's the thing, right? The whole team is here. This is the best day ever, Joachim. Well, it's really not the whole team. There's a bunch more people, but there's like two people from the team, and that's that's more than we usually have. Oh, um, there's me and you. Yeah, but we don't really count. Oh, fair enough. I know I don't count. I didn't know about you, though. <laughs> Welcome to the team, I guess. You know, the team of us not counting. So, if we give them a gift, we'll get 25 more opinion. How much do uh, we need? We need 35. 35. Or of course we need 35. <laughs> <laughs> so, even though we're almost there. Um, so we're just going to give them a gift. Actually, we're going to wait a bit and see if it goes up further. And then we're going to hand them a gift. And then hopefully they'll be like, oh, we love you. And we want to give all our territories to you. If not, we'll immediately end the feudatory and then we'll kill them and take their territory by force. Oh, 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 they summoned our Heo too. Oh, God. Yes! No, the entire. Yes! This is the best day ever! <laughs> I guess hello, Peter, then. <laughs> Look, you guys, you guys wanted the team here. You summoned the team here. <laughs> they made it into chat. You, you have only yourselves to blame, chat, for being a supportive and terrific community and bringing the team out to pay attention to the stream in the chat. So. I, I mean, the real question you is, <laughs> you know. When we start sacrificing goats, why do suddenly three PDS people uh, start popping up? That's you what know I'm... why. You know why. <laughs> you know, we're like having like this uh, hex, you know, <laughs> hexagram and start uh, offering up goats and suddenly like Peter is just there looking at us. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they were summoned by the blood sacrifice, see? Confirmed. Our dude died at the Olympics. So there you go. <laughs> That's... How embarrassing! <laughs> We're like, this is our best contender. He gets there, and is like, I need a diet coke, <laughs> and just passes out and dies. Like, oh, great. I see why people told me to change the thing. Yeah, if I had just been a good, yeah, I thought you, I thought that was what you were working on when you clicked on it. Yeah, I was. People said Diplo stance. I was like, oh, neutral stance is bad. I want to fight things, so I'll just go bellicose. But they're talking about actually integrating these dudes yeah we uh, need to do that hey it's the first time back don't expect me to know these things i'm embarrassed and then we'll do this <laughs> and then we'll just wait for our dude to get back and then we'll start integrating them oh to 469 so it takes seven years that's fine everything is fine this is fine nobody it's needs right. to worry I don't know really what a Kriton mm, is. Let's why not? See. Yeah, why not? That is completely alright. Um. Ooh. Minor them. Do I have? I don't really have a lot of no. influence. I don't have no. stability, so I don't really no. need more. I think we're just going to move you over here. Our holidays were lovely. Well, mine were lovely, I guess. I worked most of them. Yo, Kim, <laughs> how was your holiday, by the way? So they asked me, hey, do you want some time off? And I was like, okay, I'll take three solid weeks then. Yeah. So I did. And it was amazing. I've Good. been in Norway the whole time, and my sister uh, had a child just before the holidays. And Hopefully that wasn't know, an I... unexpected development. You know, she'd been planning on that for about nine months. Yeah. No, we, we sort of saw it coming. Good. Not a, uh, not a mystery child? No, it wasn't a mystery child at Good. all. Uh, my sister has... Um, She's been in a relationship since she was, you know, it's like 10 years ago or something like that. So it's been like a long time coming. No, I, so I meant just like, like you knew she was pregnant, not like all of a sudden boop child. Oh, the way, the yes. way you phrased it was like, my, my sister had a child. And I was like, <laughs> just just had a child. 
It's just like she woke up and there it was. It yeah, was just like that, there, yeah right? that's the way it sounded. I was like confused. I was like, that was, was this a surprise? Did you, was it a surprise? <laughs> no, it, it was uh, very much expected, both for her and for me, that's I guess. G- good. <laughs> good. So it's, you know, it's, it's fun to sort of, you know, have a tiny new person that's in the family and, um, then you sort of see how quickly child sort of develop, right? Yep. Uh, from the moment, uh, from the first time I saw it to now, it's just like, it's so much bigger. And now it's yeah. actually starting to sort of register people and it's smiling. And it's just like, it's only been like a month and something. And they're actually sort of um, getting somewhere. So it's actually really, really cool. All right, chat. I'm, uh, I'm starting a motion chat. We're all going to call Joachim Uncle Joachim from now on. See, the thing is, right? Since I'm like a game developer, I'm sort of, you know... I sort of have to be like the cool uncle, right? Yeah. So I'm, I'll have to be the, like the guy who suddenly is just like, oh yeah, it's Christmas, here's the, like a PlayStation or something. And be like, yeah, no, it's it's going to be quite a responsibility. Every every year is a is a package of just PDX branded merch. Here, child, grow well. Can't pronounce Joachim correctly, so I can just go with Uncle Jay. This is getting weirder and weirder. Um, speaking of weirder, I think actually we're about to end the stream, aren't we? Yo, yes, crazy old drunk half senile Grandpa Jay Moore is officially also a motion on the table. I I approve this motion. <laughs> you have my blessing as community manager, everyone. See, I don't really. S- yeah, no, I'm not going to go there. I think. Y- yeah. Jamie, it's uh, Jamie is great. I've never seen him be cranky or anything. Yeah, I've never seen a cranky Jamie either. So, I mean, he's just like. Okay, I, I've seen him sort of like, hey, you should definitely shouldn't start implementing things, you know, a couple of days before we release a patch. Yeah. Which is fair. That's sort of his job, right? right? But he's also always been super nice to me. Yeah. So, uh, yeah. I, I, hey, I, I'm I, just saying, I speak he's for... been super nice to me and he should definitely give me a race. Not going to go anywhere. I'm just pointing it out that uh, that would be really nice. Um, yeah, I, I speak for I speak for the uh, the entirety of the community team when I say that Jamie has been fantastic to us all. <laughs> All, uh, all, both of us. <laughs> hey, I'm working good, Nurgle. I'm doing streams and I post GIFs on the forums occasionally. What more, more do you want me to do? It's like I'm doing like a solid job here. But yes, um, that is just about our time. You are correct <laughs> <laughs> that we wrapped it up on a real, real positive high note. Just nailing it out of the park with the streams today, guys. Everyone's doing great. <laughs> Uh, we got the whole the whole uh, you know team in here into the chat. Well, not the whole team, obviously, but the whole team is in chat talking. Uh, lots of news coming in the future, so stay tuned for information about 2.0. Uh, we will definitely let you know as soon as we have some. If we do get a working uh, build that is stable and pretty, and you know is something that you guys can see and interact with, we'll definitely do our best to get it on stream. Uh, in the meantime, Joachim, Uncle Joachim, thank you so much for <laughs> another fun, I exciting I clearly week. shared too much. This is going to bite me.